Hello everybody and welcome back to Fantasy Revolution 11. My name is Dacian and today we're going to fight Coggin. Yes, um, I know this is kind of an old content, old old material, but you know what, oldies are sometimes goodies. And today I am actually helping out my buddy Azuran. Um, by helping him out I mean dying and you know, we're going to actually have a slight competition here. Uh, he is on Warrior, I am on Dark Knight. Uh, if you've been watching my last videos, you can see I've been playing Dark Knight for these types of events. But today we wanted to actually try out to do Coggin because he's like 0 and like 340 on the body. And I, I mean, I don't have the body yet either, and I would love it for Paladin, but I'm not too worried about it. But I wanted to see if I could maybe help him and maybe somehow my drop rate, because I die a lot, would help the drops or something. But. Yeah, anyways, uh, because of that, he is on Warrior, I'm on Dark, and we actually had someone run a Parser, so we're going to actually see who does more damage. Neither of us have both, uh, neither of us have a Relic or an Inferior or anything like that, so this is basically job for job. He is Warrior Samurai, I am Dark Warrior, so a lot of the battlefield, especially on the attack and double attacks, are pretty even. Uh, you know, of course I'm going to tell you guys about Coggin, how to beat him, how to fight him, but, you know, we're going to have some fun today, which is why we're making these videos, is why we're playing Final Fantasy, and I do encourage you to definitely help out anyone that you can, and do some old style events, because even if you're not going to get anything, they're still fun, and believe me, these skills are going to be definitely needed later. Uh, I mean... Square Enix, especially with the release of the new weapons and new areas and that kind of stuff, these types of strategies you're going to want to master. So anyways, talk about Coggin. He is, you know, as you can see, a mana... Manipede? I... Manta? Man, I'm struggling with this. But yeah, he's a, he's a big bug. We're, we're just going to go with that. <laughs> Mantis! There, yeah. Yeah, Mantis, man. I wish I could have thought of that two seconds ago and not made myself look like a complete idiot. But it's okay. <laughs> so, um, yes. Uh, major things to note about him is, you know, you do your normal buff-ups. You know, if you're a mage, buff up your magic attack, magic accuracy. If you're a damage dealer like I am, buff up your strength and your regain, also your attack, accuracy, and I actually do some a little bit of magic attack and magic accuracy for absorbs, but I actually didn't use too many absorbs as much as I thought I did. Now, for which drink to use, I would highly suggest having a Fanatics drink. It negates about 90% of the damage that he does. He doesn't like to cast too much magic, and he has some pretty devastating uh, area of effect attacks that do high damage but as long as you don't have you know your fanatics down you're gonna be fine so as he gets lower he actually I believe does have a death ability um, I don't think we saw it but uh, there is that that threat also I would also recommend keeping up an amnesia screen I know amnesia the screens come very late in the void watch so if you've been progressing you won't have it for this fight but if you're you know coming back and beating him you're gonna have that those screens which the amnesia screen he does have an ability that will you know down all your attributes plus silence and uh, give you amnesia so as long as you have that up you know you won't have to worry about that now you know pretty straightforward uh, for the setup of these parties uh, we in our group we actually kind of changed it up because we have both a Corsair and a Bard in the damage dealing party, which me and Azran decided to have some fun and, you know, buff us up as much as possible and <laughs> just go at it. And, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, normally you do want to buff those DDs with a Bard or a Corsair. And that's the par parser that's going to come up every at the end of every fight. I'm going to try and, you know, make sure that goes up. As you can see, mine's about 18%. I was beat by a monk in that fight. So, as I did cut out the in-between time between the fights. So, yeah, we we're just going to go fight to fight to fight. So, and back to talking about the parties. So, in my party, I have myself, which is on Dark. I have Azuran, which is on Warrior. We have a Samurai, a Bard, a Corsair... 
and the monk all in one party now most times this it wouldn't be true all because you want to swap out that Corsair for a white mage because a lot of people like to keep that healer in the same party we didn't we actually had a white mage in the other two parties so both black mage party and the damage the other damage dealing party so I guess we were a little greedy on this because we wanted the buffs but on the same note as long as you have a white mage that will cover both parties or they both understand that this party doesn't have a healer you'll be okay um, especially since the fanatics will eat a lot of the damage the other party we had the dragoon some rune uh, ninja uh, I believe a secondary bard it was and a couple of darks a white mage and that's gonna be that in the mage party we had black mage um, two of those two blues and white mage and I believe that's it I don't think I'm missing anything oh and a summoner how could I forget the summoner so just to recap basically when you're doing void watch the things that you want to have is the things that you really need are two blues so they can split up the blue spells you need at least two white mages a bard and a core for each of one for DD party one and the other one for the other DD party if not two bards and a core you know some combination of that and a summoner is great for the the hints that they give because almost every ability that they do gives you either magical hint or a weapon skill hint so I mean those are great for figuring out what procs and ninjas are also good for finding procs and what's the other one that's really good oh corsairs because all of their shots and everything will generate some type of hint usually so just something to keep in mind also past I mean past those basic jobs you can really go with any damage dealing combination darks are highly prevalent monks are awesome warriors are awesome samurais are good I mean anything that does real good damage you also want to make sure that you don't take like all the same job because you're gonna be missing a lot of procs especially weapon skill wise and you know you want to have as many as possible so usually like the balance seems to be somewhere with a monk a warrior a dark uh, a ninja a samurai a dragoon and some combination or some type of that because Although Samurai can do the pole arms, they can't do all the pole arms. Although Ninja can do some of the great Kintana, you can't do regular Kintana with the Samurai. Warrior can cover a lot of procs, but you want him doing a lot of damage. The Dark has both Scythe and Greatsword, but you want him doing a lot of damage. Um, and the Monk can kind of just go at it, you know, beating up whatever mob you're fighting. And I mean that's pretty straightforward for a void watch. I mean if there is a certain void watch that you guys want to see or you want me to talk about, uh, let me know in the comments below or something. Contact me in game. I'll do a run and I'll talk about what you want to look forward to, what you want to look at, and what kind of setup you want to do. Because the basic setup for void watch is you know not really changing too much. I mean there's of course. A different style for each mob because some mobs prefer the magic over the physical and certain you know tactical changes but there's not really overall you know huge general changes now we also I wanted to talk about the fact that we brought a rune and we were parsing this whole thing now the rune of course they get the full damage dealing buffs that the rest of us were getting but on the same note uh, as a great sword wielder and he had the Thalmus set up and all that kind of stuff so good stuff I didn't get to see his weapon skill set because I just didn't ask to see it and honestly in retrospect I wish I did because he uh, he was pulling decent damage uh, depending on the fight he was anywhere between at least by the, the numbers that I got was about four to seven percent damage um, so probably not you know gonna be a huge game breaking damage dealer but the ability that it, it has especially with the double or triple attacks to get TP back is 
probably one of the only reasons they were able to stick up with the damage dealers that we had. I mean, being able to do 7-8% not in a party with the warriors and the darks and the monks that have both the bard and the corsair buffs is just, you know, actually I, I kind of thought it was pretty, pretty good because, you know, that draws a good line in the sand basically saying that, hey, this job can actually hold its own um, with buffs and everything. It might even be even more powerful. Now, this parse right here that's going to pop up in just a second is going to be a little low. And you know, I did 11.5%, which I yeah, I just had no job abilities to do anything with. So it's not like I had last resort. It's not like I had berserk. It's not like I had anything like that. So. I was struggling that fight, but hey, 11% damage with no job abilities, only a great sword, and the meds still impressive. Um, I beat Azuran every other time, so you know, five to one, no worries. <laughs> so I wanted to next talk about a little bit of these kind of competitions that I've been thinking about doing. Uh, this was really fun. I actually I logged on and he was shouting and he was like, "Hey, why don't you come out and have some fun?" And I was like, "Yeah, let's do this." He's like, "Jump on any job that you want." And I ended up jumping on dark and you know, we got out here, we were talking and we we're like, "Let's let's let's make this fun." So, let's see who does more damage. And you know, when I finished up this video, I was like, "Wow, you know, this would actually be a pretty cool thing. Like if you can just do an NM, not even a hard one, and you know, let's just take a look at the jobs." job for job because you know party setup especially nowadays is very varying and each person especially with their own gear style is setting up the best job I, air quotations right there um and i mean it's a great gauge to see where you are in in a party if you're if you're holding 10 percent if you're holding 18 percent now i will say my parses were a little scattered i had about 17, 18, and then a couple 20s, and then the rest of them were in the 10s, so, you know, a little bit further over than I wanted, because I wanted to kind of keep them in a small range, but it, it happens, you gotta do what you gotta do, so, yeah, best parse set, if you are, are looking for something, would be to keep your numbers the same throughout all the fights. Uh, because Void Watch is spawn fights and you have the abilities and the attributes and all the buffs right from the get-go, you should be able to pull the same amount of damage, theoretically. Uh, in actual practice, you don't, which kind of sucks overall. Um, you know, having a, a wide variety and a wide changing pattern doesn't always mean that you should change your gear sets, but, you know, just take a look at it. You know, be critical, but at the same time, be a little bit flexible say okay well what did I do this fight that I did differently in this fight or maybe it's just a situational thing I've seen plenty of fights that I thought I did well in I did terrible in just because of the fact that the situation was just not in my favor so and of course there's a lot of gameplay in this because the mob will never do the exact same thing every single time unless you're fighting a wall and in that case, the wall isn't going to do anything. So, actually, walls might be a great thing to look at if you're trying to figure out what parse set you want to go with. Uh, <laughs> but, sadly, there's not too many mobs that are just walls and let you beat them up. So, anyways, next ideas for videos. I do have the rest of the Geo stuff. I got stuck, actually, um, trying to find one of the spawn points. I... I've been trying hard to find it and I will find it and I'll get that video up as soon as possible. It's just I've been wandering around this one zone forever and I can't even find it and instead of having a video that's 45 minutes long of me just almost cursing at the screen I've decided that I'm gonna just find the point and then I'll edit stuff out like I did my other ones. But <laughs> other than that I do have a uh, rune coming up uh, for some videos I'm gonna do like a rune let's play along with the geo I, I do apologize if you guys really look forward to that I will get that up within the next couple days because as I said I've been trying to get as much information on much different fields on those jobs as possible 
And of course now we have the new Delve stuff, which just came out in the last update. Delve is I don't really know how to compare it to any other thing in the game other than like ZNMs or you know something like that, where you basically get the pop items from the way that I found so far is doing the colonizational stuff. Um, there might be other ways. Let me know. Uh, but I'll 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 do a video actually on how to get that stuff, and then you can spawn the NMs and they drop drop stuff. Now I haven't actually done too much in it, so I can't really tell you. But I was helping out in a couple fights, and man, are these guys tough. I mean, like I'm talking like when Kieran came out at 75, that type of tough. Like a couple hours worth of fighting, and I mean this is this is very very new stuff and the party that I did uh, was literally the night that it came out so there's probably gonna be some changes but so some strategies for that right now is basically the old pet burns so yeah if you're a beastmaster or summoner good luck you're gonna be getting in a lot of stuff especially if you want to do that uh, hopefully I can bring you guys a video on that soon especially talking about you know whatever's coming out whatever's uh those new weapons and stuff you know the synthesis materials are in the files they are in the game and it's just more or less trying to figure out who drops them and what actually does give you those because those weapons I mean I, I don't know if you saw them if you haven't pause the video go search look at the update there's great swords with like 256 damage and you know single-handed daggers for 102 damage you know <clears throat> this is things that are going to be game-changing once they once they you know come into the mainstream I don't know how long that's going to be because I don't know how to get you know, a couple synth mats and that kind of stuff but you gotta think that's going to be a lot you know uh, that's a lot of damage especially to be considering on like a job like dark that's a lot of your stuff is directly based off your damage on the weapons weapon so uh yes yeah, so as you can see in this fight we did get get hit by amnesia which is why you want to use those amnesia screens uh which kind of slowed down our damage and though we did figure out because of this hit for hit dark destroys warrior which is kind of interesting because you wouldn't really think at least I was thinking that warrior would outdo dark because of double attack rate on warrior versus double attack rate on dark but it actually evened out in our situation so kind of an interesting note because a lot of people don't think of it like that but yeah I'm um, trying to think what else do I have to say about Kagen or anything like that other than he doesn't really drop anything he you know <laughs> do it as much as you want but uh I've never really got any drops that I've wanted from Void Watch. Now, yes, I know what you guys are saying, but that you, you have Void Watch gear on. Yes, yes I know. A lot of this stuff uh I got actually through passing, helping out other people and just climbing. I really didn't target any of this stuff. Like I didn't go out to the spot saying, Hey, I want a Horfrost blade. Oh, I want Ace's mail. Uh, so far, all I've done is go out to a Galma and say, Oh, I want my Ogier's body. No. Oh, I want the Kagen body. No. I mean, <laughs> or a Elo. Oh my god, I spammed a Elo forever to get the uh, Inferion. I think his name is Sword. It's the high quality one with the TP uh, Absorb, you know, NTP. And of course, I didn't get that, and I've been trying on that for uh, a long time. I mean, I actually kind of gave up because I was like zero and one hundred and three or something when I stopped counting because it's just kind of depressing sometimes when you just look at it and go, yeah, yeah. I, you know, <laughs> this goes out to Azurin who has done this NM three hundred and forty times at this point now. Uh, by the end, so it's kind of impressive that you got the stamina and the patience to wait for that. I, I, I couldn't do this NM that many times and not have a drop at all. I mean, <laughs> that's just insane. I mean, with my luck, I probably would be up there, but man, that's just insane. 
Oh, yes. So, next video is coming out. As I said, we're Geo Rune. Anything that you guys want to see, let me know. I also have plans for putting up the new videos. I, in the last couple days, I've been really busy in the game doing helping out buddies or, you know, just trying to catch up on the stuff that's random miscellaneous here and there. But, uh, you know, I, I will be doing the newer stuff once again yeah, this week. I, you know what? I will put put time aside. I will get videos up of the new material this week. It's going to happen. Stay tuned. Uh, but yes. And, yeah, I mean, I, I at this point, I really don't know what else to say. I went through every point that I wanted to, which is kind of impressive because at this point, I'm usually like, oh my god, I'm running out of time. And I'm not, which this is, I know this is kind of like a relaxed, chill kind of commentary. Uh, not really talking about the monster, let you guys watch the video and kind of just talk about the game in general. But, you know, we all have those days that we're just like, alright, let's just do this. Let's have some fun and see what happens. So, I think that is going to be pretty much it. My name is Dacian. I'm going to let this video finish up. You have not much left on this last Coggin. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. You know, you know how to do this. Like, share, comment below on anything that you would like to see. Subscribe. Let me know. And I will be putting up more Final Fantasy videos as soon as I can. Stay tuned. And this is Dacian for Fantasy Revolution Gaming. And I'll see you guys in the game. You are being talked about.